Hi friends, this is Asrar. In this session, we will discuss about ASP.NET changing password using C Sharp. So, I have created the three fields called old password, new password, and confirmed password. And that when I am going to click the update button, it will check the old password whether it is in the database or not if it is having then it will check the new password and confirm password if it is not it will show the error message so look out this I have created the text box uh, and I have a label and in a button in the table format now I'm going to the on click event so I have created on click and in that I'm going to give the connection to the database so going to create SQL connection con the naming the variable and new SQL connection and in that I'm going to give the connection string of the database which is uh, I have a register form and in the master database so just I'm going to right click on the master database and going to simply copying the connection string and pasting into my SQL connection okay then I'm going to create the uh, uh, SQL data adapter which is going to retrieve the password from the database so SQL data adapter naming the variable has SDA equal to new SDA and in that I'm going to write the simple query and after that I'm going to give the connection to the database as I have called the variable as con then inside that I'm going to write the simple query has select password from name the table name first I'm going to pin this one and I have to retrieve the data from the register form so register underscore form where password equal to double quote single quote so retrieving the from the old password dot text Yes, double quote single quote ok then I have retrieved the data password from the database and after that I'm going to fill it in the data table which is data table dt equal to new data table then I'm going to fill it in the data table which I have created so sda which is the query I have paused and going to fill it in the data table which is have created as a DT okay then I am going to check the condition if it is the password in available in the database then it, uh, it should have to update if it is not then it should show the error message has DT dot rows I have a data table data table so in that I have a rows dot rows dot count I have to count that count dot to string which is equal to equal to one if it is one then it should en enter in this and going to update that if it is not then I have to show the error message as I have created the label one and in the label one text I am going to write that please check your old password okay then you can look that I'm going to refresh my browser then simply I'm going to click the update button and the error message has shown that because the old password is not uh, matching the red table and it is not uh, having that so it has written the error message so after that I'm going to check the new password and the confirm password should be same if it's not same it should tell the error message has to check your confirm password sorry old new password and confirm password should same so inside that I'm going to uh, call the one more condition has a uh, new password dot text equal to equal to confirm password confirm password dot text the new password and confirm password 
should be same if it is same then it should have to update the old password if it's not it should have to show the error message has going to call the label dot text equal to please or I'm going to uh, new password and confirm password should be same okay then if it is right then I'm going to update that and for that I'm going to open the connection open and going to write the SQL command has SQL command and naming the variable as cmd equal to new SQL command inside that I'm going to write the SQL command has a update register form underscore form and going to set the password equal to plus confirm password dot text plus a single quote and finishing that I'm going to write that where password equal to single quote double quote plus old password I have to set the condition where the old password is matching the password then it should have to update as a confirm password dot text ending with double quote single quote after that I'm going to give the connection and going to end it and I have to tell that it should not execute on that so yes, cmd dot execute and query after that I'm going to close the connection as con dot close then I have to show the label which is uh, successfully changed message has so for that successfully updated okay, in that I am going to have to call the function so that I have to retrieve that so simply saving it after that and have to change the text color for that I am going to write a four color as a label one dot four color equal to system dot drawing color drawing dot color should be a green green okay then since saving it after that I am going to refresh my browser and you can look that I am going to type and here I have uh, shown the text because for understanding if you want uh, to be hide the password you have to set the password as uh, text mode should be a password like that text mode equal to password so simply saving it and now going to refresh it and now I am going to type the password as uh, So you can't see that I have uh, I have to remove the password mode. Sorry, text mode should be a text itself. And going to see the password in my table, which is I have a zero nine eight for Tom Jerry. So I'm going to write a zero nine eight. I have not re refreshed the, my browser so that it will visible the text. So zero nine eight new password and confirm password I'm simply typing 123 and leaving it as blank or typing for example 321 and now going to click the update button it will show that new password and confirm password should be same so for that I am going to change the new password also a 321 itself and I'm going to click the update button it will update as is 
3 to 1 so you can look that successfully updated has been trave I'm not going to execute my table and you can look that I have a 3 to 1 password has been updated so hope you enjoyed if you like this don't forget to subscribe have a good day